Hi, this is Kurt with Shift EV, and I thought I'd share something I learned this week about setting up your own speed controller speed sensor or RPM sensor. It's not unusual for uh, this type of speed sensor to be used where this fits over the cap on the end of the shaft that you want to measure and this is a four pole magnet that normally bolts into the end of the shaft and together those can keep an eye on your RPM and provide adequate input into your speed controller. Now um, I made an assumption that perhaps I could modify it because we're short on space to be able to use that. We don't have much space between the end of the shaft and the chassis of the car in this application. So I uh, found another uh, speed sensor that has been a, a good sensor and recommended uh, as an alternative. And I thought, um, well, we'll just put a magnet in here, uh, four poles as well, so one every 90 degrees, and that should do it, right? Uh, but in talking with Otmar, uh, who is the uh, designer of the Zilla controllers, um, it's not so. Um, there, that could work, but the on time of the pulse when the magnet is being sensed is going to be more brief than the previous version I just showed. And ideally, the on time of the magnet being sensed will be 50% uh, of the, the duration of that, that part of the rotation. In other words, um, if we've got a four pole magnet on here, then we want the magnet to be on for, um, for 45 degrees of its 90 degree rotation. Um, so we want each magnet to be sensed for 45 degrees and then off for 45 degrees. And in this case, I'm using a sensor that will shine an LED when it does pick up uh, the magnetic uh, pulse. And so you can see this is right at the threshold where it's turning on. And so when I rotate this beyond that, the LED stays on. So it's, it's, it's a nice long pulse. And then at 45 degrees it goes out, 45 degrees of nothing, and then it comes on again, and so on. Initially, we'd only, I'd only put one magnet every 90 degrees in here, and it would have been a half the duration of this pulse that we're seeing just because of the strength of the magnet. Um, but in this case, um, I went back and added a second magnet next to it. And uh, the reason this is important, you can probably see right there, um, this magnet and this magnet. They're just pellet-shaped magnets um, in a depression that I had milled into the pulley's material at that point. Dropped them in there with some super glue, painted over the surface, and uh, we have a pretty nice finish. But the reason this is important is because if the pulse is shorter than that 50% duration, then the speed controller may not be able to pick it up at higher RPMs. And if the speed controller for any reason can't pick it up, it's going to assume the motor stopped uh, because it's seeing a zero RPM pulse. So if it's too quick, it may lose track. And if that occurs at a higher RPM, then your motor top RPM limit uh, may not function properly. Your controller doesn't think the motor's turning that fast, and so it could not prevent it from overspinning and coming apart. Yeah, so in your higher power applications, this becomes really important.